When it comes time to selling your home, you may wonder if the hassle of doing all the work and then living in it is worth it. It's hard to keep up with the clean house, especially if you have little kids or even big kids or pets that make it feel impossible to keep up with the quote unquote show ready home. Well, let's dive into this episode where I talk about whether you should move out of your house to sell it or not. Hi, it's Kasha McDaniel, and I am a home stager decorator, and you're listening to the Creative Home Podcast, where I talk about staging and decorating and all things associated with your home. So take a listen. Hello, and welcome to another Creative Home Podcast. My name is Kasha, and I'm so excited to be here because today is my 200th podcast episode. I am so excited, and this is a milestone I didn't think I would make. Back in 2020, I started doing daily episodes because I had so many different topics I wanted to share with you. But after six months, daily episodes were just a lot. So I slowed down to one episode a week, and here we are at episode 200. I've covered a lot of topics with you from decorating your house, new trends, and of course, home staging. And I hope you guys had a chance to listen to a few of them to help you, whether you are selling your home or moving into one soon. So today we are talking about whether you should move out when selling your home or stay and live in a staged home. Now, I have to tell you that I try to be very neat in my normal daily life. Dishes don't sit out in the sink after more than one meal. Laundry gets done normally that same day. Now, it doesn't, I'm not saying that the laundry doesn't pile up in the hamper. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it's there's not like three loads sitting right in front of the washing machine to get done, okay? There's hampers, definitely full. <laughs> they just don't sit in front of the laundry machine staring at me going, come on, you're going to wash me? Trash gets taken out almost every day. And if those things scare you or you don't live that kind of lifestyle where you, you know, are neat and have things somewhat tidy, then living in a staged home may not be an easy thing for you. Now, I've lived in each of my homes when we staged them without kids and then with small kids. Every time we sold our house, I found myself packing away a ton of stuff because the less stuff you have out, the less likely it will create a mess that you have to clean up. This is especially true when it comes to toys. I think toys are the biggest clutter bomb that you can deal with as a parent. Just a box of Legos can make a parent twitch. And if you are wondering which rooms you need to focus on when it comes to staging, I created a free pre-recorded webinar that you can download and watch at your leisure. It's called The Four Most Important Rooms to Stage. In it, you will learn the four most important rooms, what they should look like, and what you can do to get your house ready to sell. I will leave the link in the show notes below. But in the meantime, here are some things to consider if you should move out or not. So number one, here's questions basically I have you to think about. Number one, do you have a place to stay with family or friends? If not, hotels can get expensive and you have less room to spread out. At least in your home, you still have most of your stuff, you can still cook meals and have the kids or pets play outside. So that's one thing to consider if you've got a place to go, okay? Because then again, it just gets expensive, right? Number two, is your home, next home already available to move in? If so, this might be an option for you. You can start moving things that are excess and get them moved into the new home, especially if it's in the same city. I've never been lucky enough to have a new house in the same city, let alone the same state. So if you do, then you might want to consider moving out while your house is on the market. I had one client who had bought a house 
um, in the same city, same town, if you will. Um, and that one was ready to move in. So they started moving things out, whatever we didn't need to stage, whatever I didn't need to have around the house. We just boxed it up and then she took it to the next house. So it was easy storage wise. She didn't have to get a storage unit or anything or try and figure out where to put the boxes and things. She just literally pulled them out of the house and moved them into the next one. Right. Um, and then other things like, you know, comfort items, you know, they did take a couch that they needed um, or the TV or whatever. So certain things, you know, they did take with them. And so we used what we could for the house that we staged in and then rented a couple items, things like that. Um, so that's always an option too, if you have the next house available, okay? Number three, question number three, do you have the budget to rent furniture? If you are moving out before you can sell your home, do you have the budget to rent the furniture? I ask this because empty homes tend to stay longer on the market than staged homes. I had one couple who had military orders and they had to leave quickly, like in two weeks, okay? <laughs> they had to schedule the movers, get their stuff squared away, and move out to the next assignment. Um, and during that time also, we um, had painters come in, they had cleaning staff come in, you know, so there was work that still needed to be done before I staged it. So those two weeks kind of flew by fast, okay? Um, I've had that where you don't have much time or you lived in a house when it's on the market, but now you just can't wait any longer. This couple hired me to bring in rental furniture and at the same time left a few things behind that I could use to help stage the house. It sold two weeks after they left, but the rental furniture and the new paint helped sell the house quickly. So consider setting aside some money to rent furniture. Our house in New Mexico took four months to sell. And this was back in 2007, when we're back in the same kind of market again, when it's a hot market, right? Because the online pictures showed an empty house. We moved to the DC area after two months and stayed in a temporary apartment until we sold our New Mexico house. We couldn't carry two mortgages, so we had to wait until the New Mexico house sold before we could make an offer on a house in Virginia. I learned that the hard way that empty houses take longer to sell. And if you want to hear more about that, listen to episode number 170, Why Do Home Sellers Empty Their Home? Three Reasons to Keep Your Stuff. Okay. Question number four, um, actually not really a question, more of a statement. Once you have your home staged and cleaned, it is easier to maintain than before. You have less stuff out there, so there is less stuff to make a mess. And I've kind of touched upon this. If you pack away things you won't need, for example, snow boots in late spring, winter coats, things, then it, you know, things like that, then it doesn't clutter up the space. You may even realize that after you pack away certain things, you may not really need it. I found this to be very true when we moved to Germany. We could not realistically take everything from our 3,000 square foot home to a rental house where we could realistically have a maybe 1,500 square feet. Yeah, so we only took the essentials and left the rest behind. Now, I wonder what I have left in storage when we get back to North Carolina this summer and whether I will still want it or use it since I haven't used it for three years. Yeah, <laughs> there are a few kitchen appliances that come to mind, those small ones that I missed, like my margarita maker. Yeah, missed that one. But there are others that I really could do without and probably is going to be donated or sold when we get back. Okay, so again, if you have less stuff, less things to work with, less likely to get pulled out and make a mess. All right. So those are just a couple of questions, few things to think about before moving out when selling your home. For some people, moving out is the easiest and less stressful. Others may not have that option and have to stay in their home while it's on the market. If you do have to stay, know that it will only be temporary and you will soon be in a new home where you can leave your laundry behind without a worry. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and got your wheels turning about whether it's best to move in or out of your house and stay in it or out of it. And like I said, we've stayed in our house every single time. And yes, it's temporary. It's painful for a little bit, but you know what? It's still doable. Okay. I hope you guys have a fabulous week and I will talk to you later. Want to get some more decorating ideas? 
check out my blog at bluediamondstaginganddesign.com to get more ideas to help you update or change your home decor.